okay now now we'll uh, discuss two more concept what is called as personal income again it's a part of personal income choice this question choice talks about personal income okay what is this personal income again see it is basically the income of all the individuals what is personal income it is the income it is the income of all the individuals in a country for a year personal income is the income of all the individuals of a country for a year now try to understand that when we talk about the all the see all the income received what you receive the total income received by the individuals or the uh, all the people of a country in a particular year is personal income okay now how it is related with this? see if you see the national income if you see the national income the entire national income what we produce and the entire national income the money value of all the final goods and services produced will not reach you that full income will not reach you some some amount will be stayed back so you have to identify what all income will reach individuals of that country from the total total income of the country for example take the case of corporate what is corporate companies companies give profits yes or no if the company is having profit what the company will do it will give it will give profits it will give profits to its shareholders yes or no company normally gives profits to the shareholders so company's income is part of national income now if the company is giving the entire income to its shareholders it will reach it will add to your personal income it will add to the because it is the amount the uh, amount received by the individual but do you think that the entire profit will be distributed by the company to the individuals or to the shareholders no what they will do they will hold back they will hold back so it's called there are some undistributed profits what is that undistributed profits of corporate what they will do so if there is a profit the entire profit they will not distribute to the shareholder some will be hold back for as a reserve or for further expansion so this undistributed profit from the this profit is also part of national income but will it be part of personal income no since it has not received similarly similarly <coughs> you as a salaried person what will you will be making some payment for social security social security means to secure a life like by having uh, pension so normally if you from your salary you know you might have noticed if you are a salaried person from your salary some amount will be cut for pension and provident fund so that is basically it is for your future life secure life okay so this payment for security social security which you make will not be added for what to your personal income because it is not you are not getting it you are not getting it so from the national income from the national income these items have to be deducted like undistributed profit of corporates then payment for social security which you made has to be deducted see from the national income if you deduct this if you deduct this you will uh, so that you will get some more clarity about so personal income now now to the national income to the national income even though some amount you will be getting there are some payment so there will be some payment you will be getting but actually that payment will not be added to the national income keep this in mind i've heard an ad see try to understand that the national income the national income the national income is a productive thing means you have to produce something national income is calculated based on it is the money value of something produced it can be final goods it can be services so if it if you are not producing something and if you are getting money so will it, will it happen like that you are not doing any work 
but then also you will get money is is there any situation like that yes it will happen like uh, there are concept like unemployment the government will give you unemployment allowance the government will give you old age pension so they you are not doing any uh, productive work but you are getting payment so will this be added to the national income no because it is not having any productive work but you are getting it see from the national income so i'm what i'm trying to say is from the national income you will not get the entire amount from the national income like what will you like uh, this these two things you will not get similarly similarly which is not there in the national income but you may receive some money so that has to be added so to the national income to the national income if you add we call it as transfer payment so transfer payment a payment you receive as an individual without doing any productive work examples are old age pension unemployment allowance so what you have to do is to the national income to the national income what you have to do you have to add transfer payment and you have to deduct these two then what you will get then you will get what is called as personal income so it will so it's part so personal income is the income received by all the individuals of a country in a year how you can calculate from the national income add those things uh, which is not a part of national income deduct those thing which is there in the national income but you are not receiving it then you will get what personal income so personal income is personal income is national income plus net transfer payment net transfer payment is transfer payment minus this these two things it's there in the material we'll just go through it so since personal income is mentioned in your personal income is mentioned in your question paper not as a question but as a choice you need to understand so we cannot say personal income is the national income of a country it's different because in personal income in personal income unproductive money is also there unproductive work means you have received payment without doing any productive work but in national income only only this uh, uh, final goods and services value has been added so just have an idea regarding this so that's the thing then regarding the investment expenditure and uh, consumption expense we'll discuss in the afternoon session we'll come to it now just have an idea regarding this uh, national income concept so personal income now one more concept is there you'll come across this term see you'll come across this term in uh, in uh, in your newspaper or in other module what is called as disposable personal income disposable personal income disposable disposable personal income now what is this from the personal income from the personal income how much you can dispose at your will see the amount which you receive you can't dispose the entire money from your personal income in all the individual can't dispose what you want some amount have to be paid as tax from your personal income some amount basically direct tax you have to pay for example examples like income tax from the income you receive you have to pay income tax so it's basically a direct tax we'll discuss in some other class but try to understand so disposable personal income is from your personal from the personal income deduct the direct tax deduct the direct tax then what you will get you will get disposable personal income so disposable personal income is personal income minus direct taxes what is this direct taxes direct tax are nothing but the tax you have to pay directly example for direct taxes income tax corporate tax or corporate tax the tax which the corporate have to pay don't worry regarding direct tax indirect tax we'll be discussing in the next class under public finance in public finance only we'll be discussing direct tax and indirect tax Uh, so we'll discuss. Don't worry. For timing, you understand that direct tax are those tax in which, if the government imposes a tax on you, the government imposes a tax on you, and you only have to pay it. That is direct tax. The government is so. Take the case of personal income tax. The government is imposing tax on you. Then you have to pay tax. You can't shift that burden to someone else. You can't shift the tax burden to someone else. So in direct tax. take the case of corporate tax 
or personal income tax the if the government imposes tax on you then you have to pay that tax so if you deduct direct tax from the personal income what you will get you will get disposable you will get disposable personal income so don't worry regarding the direct tax and indirect tax we'll discuss in public finance module don't worry